every decision maker is going to bring a different set of eyes to a certain set of facts. Certainly, you know, I mean, that can happen. And so we just have, sometimes we agree, sometimes we don't. You know, there are times you when gotta we don't see it out. all the same way. We got to think it through. But to me, that's definitely like our family. Maybe yeah. it's just Sicilians, <laughs> but I got to tell you, we're constantly going back and forth because we all think we're right all the time. The best part about it is that you can get to the same place from three different from vantage different points, points of view. And so yes, we could all get some satisfaction in the verdict right. in you, the you end. You try so, and come to a place where yeah. you all agree at least on the outcome of the thing. Right. Although you may not agree on the motive of the person. Correct. So a thousand shows is a really big deal in television. <laughs> That's around the mile marker you're at, correct? Do you guys have a tell, like, you know, getting to the truth? My mom could always tell with each, uh, each of us when we were lying. Mine was super easy, my ears turned red. That's why I grew my hair long. So you can't see. Um, but do you guys, do you each have something that you look for in people when they're telling a story? Well, well I just want to comment on, on your mom's capacity yeah. because I think parents take and assume that you're lying, oh, and we start yeah. from there. And that's True. why you think, yeah, they always yeah. find out when, when I'm lying. Yeah, no we start of from the premise the that you are guilty, guilty. period. Right. Yeah. No I'm presumption of innocence that. at home. Exactly, <laughs> that's true. I, I think that for me, I look for consistency. I mean, I don't know that that's any different from um, Patricia and Michael, but you know, when the story just doesn't add up, like sometimes something should make sense. You aren't at two places at the same time, right? right? So I think that I just look for consistency. Like how strong does it? Does it have legs? Does it hold up? And for myself, I think that their demeanor and how they present their case and the facts um, help with that version of, of what Tanya feels, which is that when you ask a question that really warrants a simple yes no answer, and they sort and they of go on and on. And then they're sort of thinking about it. Like, mm. what could you possibly be thinking? There's nothing uh, you to know, think about. Right. Either you have a car or you don't, exactly. you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and they are, you know, because they're trying to figure out, like, what answer is going to help me the most? That's also a sign, as well as, you know, eye contact. And I was going to say eye contact eye is contact a very big is very, one. So, and when my mom was giving direction, she ran restaurants for close to 60 years, she, it, my mom's only 4'10". My mother would take a giant milk crate out and look someone in the eye before she'd ask them, did you do this or did you not do that? Because she could tell by looking them in the eye if they averted their eyes, mm -hmm. you're cooked. <laughs> yeah.